meditation and hisbodidus or hitbodidus. We are here together to tune in to an important question that came up on our LinkedIn feed. Thank God for the wonderful people out there asking and discussing such important topics as mindfulness and meditation in contrast or in understanding of hispodidus and hispodinus. We know hispodidus obviously here in our moon as our future class is definitely a big subject, especially in our studio in Yushalayim. Our Muna class is all about Hispodidus and Muna, and Hispodidus is one concept. To have a relationship with our Creator is requiring us to talk. So we need to go into this. Sorry, I'm a little bit dressed up, but I'm a little bit uh, cold still. We're yet, yet entering the spring months. Chodesh Nissan is just a few days away. Rosh Chodesh Nissan, the Shabbos, this big Shabbat, the Shabbat Chodesh, the beginning renewal, Rabbi Nachman's Yom Yeledet. We mentioned we discussed that as well, as well as obviously Pasha Tazuya and all the different energies that's going on during this special time of year as we start to renew our energy. Thank you for everyone joining us weekly. We mean so much to us. You wonderful people who make these classes happen, especially right now. The Rabbinik did remind me, Kimcha de Pischa, you have to reach out on our pages for the link. And we always put them generally the place where to find it, Facebook, YouTube. Instagram, all the different platforms we are on our Spotify podcast platform. Kimcha de Pitcha. As you can hear, I still got a cough. It wasn't, unfortunately, healing as quick as I hoped, even though, thank God, I've been able to have a wonderful, wonderful week before. It was in Shabbat in, yes, here we go. Shalom. Yes, Ricardo. Someone who comes on our cast is almost weekly, thank God. So someone's reached out about a meeting I'm supposed to have. At four o'clock, so I will have to end in half an hour. So we're going to have to make this class very, very focused. But if you guys want to tune in, I always appreciate it. If you want to say something and share, give feedback, make this class global. It's a big part of what we're doing here. As we mentioned already last week, the Rav Orish wants these classes very much in English. And thank God we had a wonderful class here yesterday. Or well, actually, truth is, we have a new time now. So we're Tuesday, 3.30, 3.15. We have a new time in the studio, thank God. There's uh, some activities going on here on a Monday, and I was able to switch, which is actually much better for me, which is the original day. I was originally doing these classes on a Tuesday, so I have a full day to prepare instead of rushing from one class to the next, from Sunday nighttime all the way through to Monday to the class. So thank God it's an opportunity now for a Tuesday class. Please go, we'll get an edited version out before Shabbat. A little bit more pressure on our team downstairs to edit this class. But the amazing thing is we are tuning in to these questions of being present. This is the mindfulness movement that we know exists in 2022. It's a very big movement. A lot of Jewish souls are involved in it. And it empowers us to become more intentional, more focused on where we're at. Meditation is something which is developing a ability to tune into the higher realms, the higher self, the inner self go on those journeys within by meditating and focusing in on a daily level. So when we look at Hispodidus, which is about a relationship with Hashem, this was the point that Rev. Diane Elgood mentioned in our studio yesterday, or excuse me again, we have to remind ourselves, Sunday, on Sunday we had Rev. Diane Elgood sat here, thank God, in the name of Rav Orish, and explained that Hispodidus is different to meditation. It's different in the sense that it's not focusing on oneself or removing oneself or reaching a high level of self. It's focusing on our relationship with Hashem Yisbarach, having a Muna in our Creator. And that brings us now to then a higher level of self through our relationship with Hashem Yisbarach by developing a more spoken out way of connecting. We then had our wonderful guest, a new guest in our studio, Ben Sion. Elio, Rabbi Ben Sion Elio, Rabbi Ben Sion Elio Lair. He came into our studio, thank God, and he brought with Jake or Jacob Brown, Jacob Brown, wonderful energy of music. But he also explained the concept of mindfulness, that it's a lifestyle. It's not just a way of connecting to a Shemisbrach, but it's a lifestyle. And it means certain kind of eating, eating healthy, likely vegan or non, non-dairy definitely much more healthier way of being and that's mindfulness movement which has a lot not just the way we eat but also a way we think think more intentionally as we mentioned before 
this is a kind of focus he we can go back and watch those classes exactly how they said it obviously he has his own way of, of explaining so in my middle class today we're going to tune in to the path one that Gedalia Fenster brought down very very nicely which was based on teachings of Rabbi Nachman of Bresla of what Spodinus is and the idea of really tuning in in a disciplined way in a committed way this is the point that it has to become something part of your life that it's not enough to have interesting concepts and have interesting discussions <laughs> and I'm sure the people that we're discussing this on LinkedIn, excuse me, were discussing it in a way that wasn't just for interest, but also because they intend to make a difference in their life. They intend to develop more relationship with Hashem Yisbarach, with themselves, with their inner self, their soul level. And that's the point of the Gedalia, what I really got out from his class. And we posted it yesterday, thanks to Coach Menachem and his team. Excellent class, all about energy and using our energy, putting our energy in the right place and it spotted us and a lot of very important points, a lot of great questions from people, people very open nowadays, much more vulnerable and real than they were in previous years and thank God with these online platforms we can discuss things online. There's already someone reached out wants to be able to phone and discuss live on our class so I'm going to give my WhatsApp number and they'll be able to call in during the class. We're happy to do that kind of service. Another point to remind me for this Sunday we haven't yet had a sponsor for Yosef Kaduna, which is quite upsetting. I did have originally someone who offered possibly, but they weren't able to fulfill it. And now we have an opening for a sponsorship for Sunday's class. It's not that much. I mean, it is, but it isn't. And Yosef Kaduna is a very, very big soul who I'd love to bring into the studio. I personally would sponsor it myself, but just being the way things are with Erev Pesach and everything going on in my life, I'm not in that position right now. But I do hope there are some people out there who are in a good position, who could kindly sponsor Yosu Kaduna to come to our studio and run a Muna class together with him and have his wonderful music. If he doesn't come, then we'll just, uh, Bez Hashem, we'll have a backup plan, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. I mean, it won't be Yosu Kaduna, but it will still be a good class, for Hashem, because we have Rav Dain Elgod committing Erev Pesach to still join us. Probably will be the last class of this winter time our 67th class it's a big deal i want to thank hashem publicly that we made it to this point i want us to tune in now again back to the question of his bodhis to understand that being present being able to tune into what's the soul level is really for me which which is what i connect to especially say for chabad his bonus the idea of thinking of Havas Hashem and Yerus Hashem and Misbonin and the Godless of Boira and the greatness of our creation and loving Hashem and fearing Him and being able to have an, a, a relationship through thinking into our relationship with Hashem is Baruch, through the Svarim of Chabad and other such Svarim which talk about the greatness of Hashem is Baruch, the, the hugeness, the, the wonderfulness and the ability to Misbonin, to think about that, to, to deep think deeply through Chasidur through learning the books, through learning the teachings, this brings us to great and great awareness. As it says in the in the Mishnah Brewer, brings one of the six mitzvahs tamidus is to have Avas Hashem. How do we have love for Hashem is Baruch? So one of the ways we learn is by learning His Torah, by having Avas Torah, by learning and learning and learning. And that's where Rav Chaim Kanievsky Zatzal, who we dedicate our shir to, he and all our classes the last few weeks is someone who was had tremendous Avas Torah and Mamela, and from that had Avas Hashem. That was a derech brought down from, I believe it was the Sefer Chinuch who brought it down, that the idea that we come to Avas Hashem through learning his Torah and through the Niflos of Boreh, through the wonders of creation, and from Hasidus, we know that we come to great, greater levels of understanding how Hashem is so important in our life so big in creation and understanding not in a superficial sense but on a chasidus there's higher and higher realms higher and higher alumnus worlds and you get deeper and deeper obviously there's a whole movement of meditation and thought like um, people have mentioned to me around das and other people out there uh, they happen to be jewish funny enough and i saw an, um unfortunately i saw a documentary on netflix youtube about him and he seems like someone who is very deep into these concepts of meditation. But the problem is that it gets side, sidetracked into all kinds of uh, s external aspects which are not um, the, the unification that we're looking for. We're looking for a unification. 
We're looking for the united theory, the ultimate united theory, which brings everything together. That's something which we're trying to build in these classes and build in what we're doing here in our Muna class is a constant focus on the united souls level. To understand this, spoiled us, when we yachet ourselves, and we're joining together with all the souls of the world, of, of humanity. We're joining onto a high, high realm of unification. And that's the kind of hispodilus we have to understand when we're praying for people. We're praying not just for ourselves, we're praying for Shem Kol Yisrael, for all the neshamas of Yisrael. And each of the neshamas of Yisrael have thousands of other neshamas connected to them from the world, the global neshamas of all of humanity. And the whole idea is we're meant to bring a unification. This is the teachings of the Baal Shem Tov HaKodesh, the Yichudim, the unification. We talked about it before here. And this idea of what has spotted us, we should be able to tune into that spiritual state that when we're married, please God, that's a soulmate. And we have children, these are souls. And we've talked about this here many times. The Rabbonim, our teachers, our souls to help guide our souls. They have a higher level, as Ravel got explained about the Gedolim. Their soul level is much more revealed and they're able to guide us to be more soulful and to live a more soulful life and how we speak. As so Gedalia was getting at that when you have that quiet time in the morning, that hour, early, early in the morning to do a spodidus in a disciplined, committed way, and you know you're going in a derech of siddiquim, of righteous people, so it's not just a path that is, you know, sounds good or some other, other mystical movement thought of. This is our path, this is our heritage as a Jew, to teach this kind of message of oneness, of relationship with God. This shouldn't be neglected, the most important <laughs> foundational part of Judaism, excuse me, is to have that relation that you can't really go past any of the other mitzvahs or go into any other mitzvahs until the foundational mitzvah of Amuna and Hashem is brought, the foundational mitzvah according to the Ramban and the Rambam is a, it's a Makrokas of it exactly if it is a mitzvah or not or it's just an assumed, an assumption, a foundational part of all of the mitzvahs. That either way we have to, according to whichever way you go, we have to have a Muna. It's If it's a mitzvah, we have to do it because it's a mitzvah. We, it's a part of the entrance to all the mitzvahs, then we have to live a bit. As we know from the Novi, Chabukuk, that the the, the call everything stands on one mitzvah, Mira Acha, so one, one mitzvah, one pillar, the whole of everything that we're doing in this world. And really that's what it comes down to, says the Gemara Machas, that after all the different ways of explaining Yiddishkeit, it really comes down to one mitzvah, a Muna. And we've heard this many, many times from Ravorish, Baruch Hashem, we have the Garden of Muna. You can learn these books, get them on our website, brezlov.com. You can keep learning these classes, these important videos. We get always weekly, weekly feedback on the wonderful videos we put up from Havorosh. Baruch Hashem, we have thousands of clips, little minute clips, two minutes, three minutes. Everyone enjoys them very much. Put them on Reels now, on TikTok. They're going everywhere, thank God. And we can put our Muna class with our special guests. And what's drawing us together is this feeling of need for a Muna in a relationship with Hashem is Baruch. That is what is a ultimate unifying force in our studio, in our work, and in the world nowadays. And what's going to bring unity? What's going to end these wars? What's going to end the war in the Ukraine is a higher way of being. Fine, there might be some political and financial ways that they come to some resolution. But the inner motivation is that mankind is going to come to peace is the Deus Es Hashem. And everybody knows the share levels of awareness, of Das. This level of Das, of Da'at, is created through our relationship with Dibor, with Hashem Isbrach. That brings into our mind more and more truer thoughts, truer ways of thinking into our heart, more truer feelings. And that develops a more pure way of being in our relationship with Hashem Isbrach. So then when we come, say, for example, this Shabbos, Shabbos HaChodesh, and Rabbi Nachman's birthday, the Yom Yaledet, and there's a Mishkan that, was, that came into reality. Only Yom HaChodesh Nisim was this, gay, this, this huge day, this powerful day of Yom Shmini, Yom Shmini. And we were speaking about it this Shabbos with, uh, with Shlomo Katz. It's Kehila, Baruch Hashem, in the frat. It was a beautiful Shabbos. A lot of unity there, a lot of togetherness. And we're speaking about this concept of that it was something the, the shamas of the people were open to this revelation. And they, please God, are going to be having their chanukhs of bias. They're going to be building a, a new shul and opening that shul. Hopefully, Shabbos Agodol, very special time where there's a godless, a greatness is revealed in the world. And in fact, there's going to be a new shul opening for Shlomo Katsuki. We pray for them and for all our friends who are there. 
to be matzliach, to be successful, and to have a relationship with Hashem, bring that into Shul. I heard already they're saying to heal him, all the uh, the Noshim Sidkonius, the righteous women, are saying to heal him nightly there to bring down the Shorosh Hashkina, to bring down the Tefillahs, to, to purify the place. And they've already brought in the Sfarim, they're going to bring in the Sefer Torah. The way that the Jewish people bring these these avoda, this holiness of Kedusha and everything they're doing through the Sfarim, through the Torah, through the prayers, this brings and makes space in this world, Der Tachtona, just like that happened in the Yom Shmini and this Shabbos. We're going to have the Mishkan, the Shem Bo Yishchina, Shosh Yishchina, into the world. That was the Simcha of the world. The first time Hashem had revealed Yishchina in the world, the Shabbos. It says there was ten crowns and the Gemara brings down, revealed on this special day. This is the kind of energy that we should tune into on this Shabbos. Realize that in the Rosh Chodesh Hazel this Rosh of all the Chadoshim, it's the head of all the new months, hasn't it? The Kayach of all the energy of all the months ahead, all the 12 months that we're going to be bringing down this Shabbos are going to be in the Shabbos and the 12 days that we go ahead into Rosh Chodesh Nisan, each one is connected to another day, another Chodesh of the month to come. So you're already feeling a certain Ruach HaKodesh spirit, the special prayers we talk about and the Kobonis of the Nasim and special tefillahs for each Chodesh, for each Nasi, for each Prince of Israel, of each Shevet, of each tribe. There's 12 tribes. Everything's very spiritual. Ah, good morning from Plano, Dallas, Texas. Yes. I do, re- I do remember, I think Nissan Black was just in Texas, and that reminds me also something very important, that I feel like I have all these Nassim connected to me through the Unity bookings. I would like to offer you guys, remind you, I have in the description, remember the links, go into the description, the links, and tune in to all those wonderful artists and speakers that I hopefully am working on representing and bringing to your communities, to your, your homes, through Zoom or through live concerts, ideally through live speaking events. We've got wonderful, wonderful people in my Unity bookings. Obviously, the head of them all is Rav Orish, and hopefully he'll be back and healthy soon, so we'll be able to go on tour in person. And we have myself, we have with Dain Elgrod, we have all the staff here, but Baruch Hashem, as speakers, we also have Shlomi Zionz, he's a very inspirational speaker, writes for the Ami Magazine, a YouTuber, and he's going around global right now, Baruch Hashem. We have also... Um, Ramon Akai Ben Avram, who's been in the studio and has a lot of talent, is now writing for Ford magazine. We have Bo Hashem, the wonderful people, Jodeci, Joseph, Bo Hashem, amazing story from England, journey from, from thinking he wasn't even Jewish to realizing he's Jewish at a young age and be able to find his ways. A lot of good energy, able to help the youth and pick people up to, to a great level of energy and inspiration. We also have obviously Nissan Black as a speaker, but also as a singer. Now we're going to our singers. We have Nissan Black, as, as we've already mentioned. Joseph Brown, his brother-in-law as well, is available for speaking. And his beat maker will hopefully bring him in the studio. We're hoping already the last week or two to brought him in, but it will all happen in the right time. That's the whole unity's bookings. It comes with Amuna, it comes with unification. All these artists, all these speakers, all these people are all role models of unity. Their music, unity music of Nissan Black. We know it brings people together, Baruch Hashem, and he's doing very well thank god he's doing a lot of touring right now thank god and you guys should keep sharing his content and reach out to me if you want to book him anytime uh, thank god I have many many years of working with him thank god and then we now have also west side gravy we have Nuriel. we have a lot of musicians Joseph also Daniel. we have Ari Lessa. i just put out a great song gratitude and he also did just put out a new video a glorious friend with all these wonderful artists and stars thank god growing stars another speaker i just remind myself rudy rochman He's a very big activist, putting out a lot of unity energy in the world, trying to bridge the gap between Israelis and Palestinians and the general world community towards Israel and Jewish people. And we have un- unbelievable unity-focused people. These are all unity-focused individuals that together lead us as we're doing these 12 months, these 12 Nasim, these 12 princes of the tribes. They're bringing down Ashur Shashchina, these, these special people, all of them that I'm blessed to work with and hopefully bring them to your community. I, I want to mention a new person that I thank God booking with, Duvi Shapiro. I think I mentioned it here, Duvi Shapiro now is part of my Unity bookings and he is available for weddings and simchas, eight and cats. Thank God I'm uh, just helping him get a, a event in the summer and he, he's a wonderful also singer musician. We have also Citroen Films who are able to make promos so that we can get all these artists and people, talented people out there in a professional way. He's done a lot of the videos from this in black and he's available Citroen Films. So you want a promo, you want something done video wise, I can help get that set up. These are all opportunities I'm giving you go to my link below on the unit, United 
Unity Inspires projects and United Souls, Unity Bookings link, and you'll be able to tune in there. All these souls bringing together souls in events and through collaboration. This is the focus that I want to bring to the Jewish people and to the world, this kind of unity way of being, of living. And we have to look out for those role models. So during these 12 days, Rosh Chodesh Nissan, from that all the way to the 12th of Nisan, we have the 12 tribes. The 13th is already Aaron and Cohen's special day with the menorah, as it says, Belosch, and that's what we'll be reading in the Pasha that day, and it's in the Pasha's Nesim, as Belosch is the Hemshech, the continuation, and that's Aaron and Cohen's light brought into the world, doing what's in Hashem. And then the climax point is with, thank God, we have Yud Dalit. This Yud Dalit Nisan is already all in there, as it says, Ola, Ola Aba Asa, the night of the of the 14th, we take the candle and we go and do Badika's Khametz. This is already a, a very big light that's coming into the world as we're cleaning out all the schmutz and hopefully everyone is preparing for that special night already with cleaning, getting ready the home for Badika's Khametz already starts already. My wife is just doing our bedroom today. Baruch Hashem, we're getting eggs just in case, you never know. And making sure that everyone has everything what they need. The Kimcha to Pitzcha, this is the most important part. Also preparing for Yom Tov to make sure that others who don't have join and partner. Rabbi Neet reminded me again and I'll remind you again. Join the links, it's all on our platforms. Do charity, that's Kimcha to Pitzcha. Help the poor people have what they need for Yom Tov. And that brings us to then Lel Yom Tov, Lel Seder. This is the important thing. It really is a tremendous light. The night of the Seder night really is the, one of the most exciting times and moments for all of us to tune into and to get that chizuk in Amuna. It's a Yom Tov of Amuna. The whole Chag is a Chag of Amuna, an inspiration. And one of the most important revelations is Haggadah, that we have to speak. Realize that Haggadah, we're sitting at our table, Seder night, and we're talking out. The Yitzhiyas for Surayim, the going out of Egypt, going out of our restraints, going out of limitations, going out of all our physical difficulties and bringing to a high level of way of being. We're coming to a spiritual state through the Haggadah, through talking. So Amunah, the Chag of Amunah, together with Haggadah, thanking Hashem and saying hello. And the whole Seder of Haggadah is, a, is an insight to the Hispodidus that we're talking about in this class is a preparation for Spolidus. And I know from, I mentioned already Nissan Black, he's an example, one of my artists, who's doing his Spolidus. That's what building his path of success in the music and, and the world out there is through a Spolidus. And that was the difference. We know there's musicians, unfortunately, and artists who've gone out into the world and they've had all kinds of challenges. But Rav Oresh said that if you have a relationship with Hashem and you're doing a Spolidus on a consistent, committed, daily level, this relationship with Hashem will give you the protection, will give you the cheshman and nefesh, the constant turning in and seeing, uh, doing mishpat on yourself, making sure that you're on the right path, checking yourself through his bodhidus on a daily level like Gedalia so wisely spoke about in uh, the, the class we put up yesterday. So I want to ask you all, this is the time now to get ready for Pesach, to get ready for an increase in Amuna, to understand that this whole Chag, the Matzah, is Malcha de Munusa, is, is, bru- is bread of Amuna, it's, it's, the, it's the opportunity to feed our soul the needed renewal in Amuna for this new year that's coming in the Chodoshim. And this is a big, big, big time for us to all tune in to that light. Now, I do remind you, I do have a meeting in about three now from the US. So I'm going to be going on to that soon. But I want you to just remember before we go off is that all of us together are able, all of us, to inspire the people around us. Remember, Haggadah, the Seder night, is for the family. It's the four sons. It's the family experience. That was the beautiful thing. The Shabbos were in a community to experience Judaism in a community and to show as much as possible people out there to try find communities. I was listening to someone who's a convert recently, and she went to the Chabad community, and it was so amazing, her experience. It gave me inspiration. There's all these wonderful communities for all of us to reach out to, and we should reach them out, and we should make a difference. And I want to mention also... Um, a very important interview I saw from Tim Ferriss of Mark Zuckerberg, interestingly. Now we're hoping that he's building an online community that we're part of that is helpful for the neshama, for the soul. And one of the supportive aspects is that he himself, Mark, was brought out from Tim Ferriss, has realized how important the Shabbat is, has realized how important the ideas of creation. He holds of himself as a creator. So he feels like that's in the Salam Alakim, that's in the divine image for him to be a creator and create all these platforms and take us onto higher, higher levels of technology. Let's hope that that's his intention. That's his mindful way of being involved with 
Facebook and creating Meta and all these high levels platforms that we're part of on a daily level, Instagram and, and WhatsApp and all these different platforms that we're busy with. Anyway, so just to really climax this class with a point that to realize if someone like Mark, who's out there in the big business world and is so impacted, realizes the importance, he needs Shabbat, he needs family time, he needs that time to focus on his creator. So all the more so for us, who don't have all his responsibilities and his journey and all the, the public experience he has to deal with, we have the ability, thank God, to tune in. And, and Tim Ferriss said it himself, that he's feeling he's missing some of these rituals. So we have the opportunity, Shabbos, these are there to help us. If the successful people out there have realized the importance of having Shabbos, having these moments of disconnect to reconnect, to digital detox, to tune in to our soul level, this is something which is awakening in the world. The world wants this level. It needs this level. It needs this reality. It needs this awareness, this das, this relationship. It needs, people are hungry for it. The first, the first for the word of Hashem is is alive and kicking, as the prophet said. It's something that's going to grow and grow before the Shia comes. Yishai Rebo beautifully sings it, and all the wonderful other singers nowadays are bringing out an energy of a need for a relationship with Hashem. The gratitude that Ari Lesser talked about in a thank you Hashem video to have that gratitude. This is the teachings of Rav Oresh going global because everyone, thank God, is waking up to the need for that attitude of gratitude, that need for Amuna. This is where we're holding. So anyway, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go off now because I've got a meeting with a group in America and I just want to wish you all a wonderful rest of the week, a beautiful Rosh Chodesh to enjoy and tune in to this time. You have the opportunity, if you want to bring any of these inspirational people, you have the links below. It's all there. You want to subscribe to my Substack. Substack, you have the opportunity, United Souls. I'm going to be putting up part 12 just before Pesach. We've already done 11 parts, thank God, of extracts from my book, United Souls, and all the different classes, everything there, all the summaries of what we're doing weekly, thank God, is there. We have our other platforms, thank God, the Relationship Flow podcast and Unity Flow podcast. This will be posted there as well because I want to bring together not only the music and the flow of, of Amuna but that we're doing in these studios, but I want to bring it into the United Souls platforms as well, Unity Inspires Projects platforms that I've been building, thank God, for all these years. And I thank you all for all the partnership you've given me, all my friends and my fellow musicians and artists, speakers, creatives. We've done so much, but now it's just the beginning. It's a new beginning. Let's tune in to the light, the new light that's coming down, this returning light that we had the band yesterday on Sunday bringing a nice energy of Simcha and we had Yosef Daniel, nice energy of great music, check it out, check out the previous class and join us for the coming classes as we finish off this winter's month and enter the new spring season of Amuna and Seder night and all the Amuna that the Pesach is going to bring, Pesach mouth speaks, this is a spoilerus this is the difference, the next level that the world needs to understand, the mindfulness movement, the meditational groups out there, they can tune into an even higher level through talking to Hashem to having a relationship, to speaking it out, bringing it into reality, speaking our, our inner needs, our inner concerns, our inner passions, our heart level, bringing it out. To pour out our souls to Hashem Yisbarach, to our families, to be real and healthy. Someone's wishing me a full shlema. Yes, thank you. Hopefully I'll have a full full shlema. I am somewhat better, thank God. There's a lot of good energy, a lot of good vibes this Shabbos and this week, thank God. So hopefully I'll be fully well for next week's Amunah class and we'll be able to join together as we discuss next week after Tazria, the whole Indian of Ticking up pair, we carry on with Mitsoira fixing up the mouth, how we speak, to use it only for good things, to speak good, and to be bring down that light of Mashiach Sekenu, which the Mitsoira has said it's going to be Mashiach. We'll talk about it next Shabbos and next week, please God. But the light of Mashiach is in this time. This is a time of Geula. This is the Asid, the Galen. We're going to be redeemed during Kaddish this and the Maisa in reality. And this is a powerful energy that's in reality right now. The, the light of Geula, light of redemption. Just like we went out of Mitzrayim, we'll go out of our own exile now, our own challenges. We're going to get redemption, redemptive energy, Shefa and Brocha and Atzlacha, a good Shabbos, a good Chodesh. And thank you for joining me. Share this global Amen. Thank you.